No, we didn't know he was in Gaza. Thomas, uh, or Israel, check. No. H U R N D A L L. Pardon? Uh, we've spoken to the Foreign Office. Thank you. They can't confirm it or deny it. My Tom? What? At first they weren't sure it was Tom, but now it's been confirmed. Shot? Yes. But he's still alive. Is it going to be all right? I can't prepare you for this. I can only repeat the doctor's assurance that he isn't experiencing any pain. My message to the Israeli authorities would be, why were they firing at small children in the first place? And why did they shoot an unarmed man who was so clearly trying to see them to safety? What is it you're hoping to get from them? An admission of guilt? An apology? The truth. We have nothing from them. Nothing. This is the toughest neighborhood on earth. Israel goes to sleep with its boots on. This is a democratic country. Someone that does something wrong must be brought to account and that's what we're going to do. When that? When are we going to do that? Are you going after the Israeli army? Here is where Tom was standing when he was saving the little girls. The only bullets fired that afternoon were Israeli. The soldier who shot him is 20 years old. A boy. Like you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I don't care how fucking tough the neighborhood is, that cannot be allowed to pass unquestioned.